Welcome to the dying video, and I think I'm dying on camera already. Um, this is Love Them Knives channel, by the way. You like this birch? That's a nice background, isn't it? Okay, so we're going to dye some knives. Oh, I didn't get to watch you disassemble them. Guess what? Your linguistic uh, you know, talents would be expanded a lot if you had heard everything I said while I took these apart. Just amazing. Uh, but yes, I got them all apart. And yeah, I mean, this is not so much about how to disassemble a knife because I do that on almost all the reviews I do. So it's not about disassembling, it's about dying. You gotta learn how to die if you're gonna live. And these, we got a bunch of different knives. I'm gonna put the list of knives down below in the comment section, also in the description section. I'll also name the colors of dye per whatever knife, you know, that I dyed it so you can kind of get an idea. It's like, okay, so if I got the crit, and this is the crit, by the way, and uh, that was the easiest one to undo, just a screw on each side. It'll be the toughest one to put back together because there's the utility piece, tool, blade, and then the regular blade, and then you got ceramic bearings on both sides and all that shit. So, th yeah, this was a pain in the ass to put back together after the review. But, okay, so here's the rundown of the knives, and I'm going to dye them uh, pretty much blue. I've got some purple. I don't have red. I'm not going to do green because most of them are already green. If you want green, well, shit, you already kind of got a natural green or this kind of green. So, no, I'm, uh, and Michael Stifler sent me some knives, including his Mylea and stuff, and he goes, if you're going to do it, I mean, if you're going to do blue, throw mine in. So, and his Imperium as well. What else did you send me, Mike? Not that one. Oh, he sent me the TS27 Tucson G10 model. So these are his three, and they're all natural G10. Nothing natural about his knives. And, like I said, crit, snap. You know, the sin cut snap. Uh, oh, by the way, this is the Tucson... Uh, FH321, I believe, okay, uh, designed by Laconico, obviously. No, I'm just kidding, but that's kind of strange. Okay, and then this is a petrified fish. This is the PFE, as in Ernie, 01, that kind of cleaverish looking thing. And I'll stick pictures of them before I, before I tore them apart. I'll stick pictures in here so you can see the knife. And then, of course, I'll show you the assembled knife when we're done. And this is the Valona, and that ain't no Valona. I'll tell you what, this Migaron Valona, whoo, baby, she's cool. And uh, I said, but tan? Mm-mm. No tan, Stan. We're not going to do that, so what color? I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I <laughs> better before I throw it in. And then this is the PFP01. PFP is in Papa 01, the Beluga. Okay, so the PF Ernie and the PF Papa, both 01. And now that we're going on the PP route, this is the PF. P02. So the Beluga was a PFP01. This is a PFP02. And this one's almost bluish grayish. So I think we're just going to take it to a different level of blue. This one. I don't know about uh, going purple or I, I only got blue and purple. I got a couple different shades of blue. Um, Royal blue and sapphire blue. And I think. I'm gonna, and I can't remember, one of the guys, it may have been Chad in Kansas, he's got one of the Max A Sandstorm G10 knives. And his, I mean, if you've seen the pictures of it, it's just beautiful blue color. And he started with this, but he couldn't remember if he went Sapphire or Royal, so I'm gonna go Sapphire on these, okay? I had a previous one, I tried to go Tropical Teal, and it just made it a little bit darker. 
uh, green and less opaque. And it was kind of, nah. And I couldn't do anything with it after I went tropical teal. I couldn't get it to go blue. So screw that. We're going straight to blue. So there we go. We've got the Imperium, right? And we've got the Mylea. We've got the Tucson TS27. We've got the Valona. And then we've got the, uh, the Ganzo. Uh, then, of course, the PFP02. The Max A Sandstorm, Send Cut Snap, Civivi Crit, PFP01 Beluga, okay, and the PF Ernie 01, which is, I don't know, I don't think there's a name for it. Is that enough? I think that's enough. Okay, let's go die them out. Okay, so uh, here's the here's the mess. Of course, I uh, I wired these up, okay, and then I'll probably run them through some soapy water, get the grease off of them first. But uh, and I don't know that I need to dry them out once I get them through the soapy water because they're going to go into water again. The dye solution. Uh, here's the different. Scales, so we got one, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and then I think I'm gonna do one in purple, okay? Royal purple. So these are the dyes I'm using, like this one, all purpose dye. It's not a synthetic, but you can use it on nylon and other things like that. So we're probably most of this thing is going to be a, a shootout between royal blue and sapphire blue. Now this is a synthetic fiber dye, okay? So, uh, you know, I've been back and forth with other guys talking about it. Most of them don't think there's a big difference, really, uh, in using one or the other. And then this is a tropical teal. And I'm not sure what I might try with this. I, I'm thinking maybe the Valona uh, because of that kind of tan scale. I'm not sure that teal would go well over the gray. And I've already tried it on natural G10 and it, it was not good for that. So really a very light tan or maybe a white. Okay. But uh, so far... Now, uh, I think Sapphire may be more fascinating than the Royal Blue, but I'm, I'm going to try both, and that way you can see, you know, a natural G10 in Royal and a natural G10 in Sapphire, and make up your own mind if there's a big enough difference and which one you prefer. I'll try and do one in uh, Purple, probably the Crit, you know, just because I really don't care. And I, I want to try that out. But I'm going to try like one set of scales, natural G10 first, in the different colors. So basically the sapphire, the royal, and the royal purple, and royal blue. So those three, and kind of get a look and see what they look like before I commit to the others. So there's the sapphire right here and I, I put gloves on because yeah it's a little tough to get out of your skin it'll finally come out of your skin but you might as well put gloves on that way cleanups a lot easier and you know you want to shake it up before you pour it in and let me grab this real quick and I'm going to shake it up pretty good and I've got probably a half a half a gallon of water in there, maybe close to a gallon. I don't know. I kind of just play that by ear. Um, I just I don't know that you can overdo it. Uh, that you can put too much dye in there. So I'm going to put this much, 
that's at least a third of that bottle in there then I'm gonna get a stainless steel spoon and stir it and then when it gets hot enough close to boil I'm gonna put the scales in there so I'll be right back okay so yes stir it uh, sapphire blue and uh, I think it's hot enough actually so here's the scales and I'm just gonna hang them over the edge in this pot and let's put them in and give them 10 minutes and see what we got okay so I set it for 10 minutes see I've got two minutes left there's eight minutes I, I, I had a guy say and this has been my experience too probably about seven minutes is enough check this out what do you think I mean uh, it's a little steamy isn't it but check that out yeah I'd say that's uh, sapphire blue on them you know so that was natural G10 and why don't I have my other glove on I don't know um, so what do you think I'm gonna leave it for the rest of the two minutes but I think we're done on that and I'll lay that out and then I'll get this other pot here going with a uh, royal blue and we'll do a set there okay so these are the scales that started out as natural G10 on the Civivi Imperium I'm thinking they look good oh by the way this doesn't wear off I mean I've had knives that I've that I've had for three years or more that I dyed the scales on and they're and they're good so okay kick it over here and I like it so much then I'm gonna put my sandstorm scales in here let's all have a little prayer cuz God I hope these turn out as much as as nice as those because I think that will be freaking awesome on that sandstorm K that'll be a knife I'll definitely want to show off uh, we'll put it in there and give it 10 minutes and then we're starting to heat this up and we'll put I don't know what we're gonna put in here right now maybe royal blue and try a set there as well all right so scales on the max a sandstorm let's see and and we got a minute 32 left to go out of that 10 minutes that's what I'm telling you was I telling you that I was telling you that see does that look green no hell no that look blue baby oh shit that, nice that is nice that is gonna be nice I'll let it go the next what is it now it's a minute 10 and then I'm pulling it baby that's gonna be good looking on that Woo! okay so we got this up to temperature so we're gonna start doing something oh god here let me get over here to the counter and what are we gonna do uh well you know what let's just try these scales on the TS 27 because nobody cares nobody cares about the TS 27 so and plus Mike says they got to be blue so let's put them in the Royal and uh, let that one go for 10 minutes huh because we're just pretty much done with this so let's add let's get back to 10 do it the hard way I guess okay 10 minutes on the Royal I think we're done with these little puppies oh, come to daddy that is Baby, that is some good looking all the way around there, isn't it? Yeah, that'll be nice. All right, 10 minutes. Let's pull these and then we'll put them side by side with the other scales we did on the Imperium and see what royal blue next to next to sapphire blue kind of looks like. Okay, so now I'm out in the sun and that's what the sapphire blue looks like on the natural G10 handle see underneath I think it took the color really good and then you know here's the outer scale area if I can get these out of course they're starting to dry out they look good wet don't they 
but yeah they'll be fine they're gonna look good still waiting on the royal blue and then we'll take a look at the royal blue on the ts27 and see what that's like i like that sapphire i do i do what how did i mark this scale up how do i get this on here i did something to it oh well it's a gray g10 on the beluga so i'm gonna put it in the sapphire as well and let's see how that rolls and uh We'll let it go. And of course, we still got these in the uh, the TS-27 in the Royal. So we'll pull that out here in a minute or two. And of course, I got the Petrified Fish PFP-02. So the Beluga is the PFP-01. This is the O2. And you know what? Hell, Sapphire. Figure that one out. Now, hold on. Back, back, back. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to do with the snap yet. I think I might try and go purple on that. Uh, and here is the Ganzo. Okay. So I think I'm going to throw this in a royal just so we get another royal to compare. And there you go, buddy. Okay. I'll be back with you. All right. So now these are my si sapphires okay <laughs> and these are my royals how weird i'll get these under the studio lights before i reassemble them and you can kind of see of course this was kind of a grayish color to begin with this was natural and it just didn't seem to penetrate as well um and then this crazy mylea is just such a vivid blue so okay and the sapphires are kind of a little bit of a mix too okay but here's what we're going to do now this uh valona uh migaron valona it's going to go into the tropical teal so we're going to try that out and oh there it goes <laughs> okay so much for lowering that in slowly oh by the way I don't think I need it like that. Okay. But we're going to let that go for 10 minutes. We'll see. Back across. Back across. Okay. So we've got G. So, so we got the critter and the snap. Snappy critter. Okay. So if they had a baby, it'd be a snappy critter. Now we're going to go into purple. Pachung, pachung. So, and okay. Just to refresh your memory, here's the purple. Synthetic fiber dye, royal purple. Let's see if that's a royal paint or not. And then, of course, the tropical teal, which is what we put the Valona into. You'd think it would come out like a turquoise color, but it ain't going to be. It'll be different. Um, hopefully, it won't be like just a, a brown piece of crap, but we'll see. And there's the purple. So 10 minutes. Let's see what we got. Okay, we got 436 left. But you know what? I don't know. I think I'm channeling Huggy Bear. I think I gotta check the purple. Ooh, baby, that looks okay, yes. That is royal purple. Is that royal purple? Oh man, that's gonna turn out nice. Yes, I don't know if I'm royalty or pimp daddy, but uh, that's going to be purple, that's for sure. And tropical teal, shall we take a peek? Oh, where is my little, okay. Ooh, okay. Yeah, that started as brown, but it's, okay, now that is tropical teal. See, it's not that blue, blue, like turquoise. It's, it's a, you know, that greenish kind of color, but that on that Valona that's gonna be nice okay cooking it up cooking it looking it are we gonna go for the tropical teal what does that look like could it be good on the Valona on the Valona and that ain't no Valona look at that Ooh, what the hell is that we got a spotted return here that is kind of crazy what was that 
but it's an interesting pattern. I just don't know how we got the, uh, I stirred it up pretty good. Well, we'll wipe it down. We'll wash it down and see what happens. Purple. Purple. Okay, Mac Daddy, come on. What do we got? Pull it out. Is it a five pounder? Okay. Ooh, yeah, that is purple. That's definitely purple. Oh, get over there. Throw it on the floor. Okay, what do we got here? Crit. We got a purple crit. Yeah, we do. Yeah, I need to put these, once they're dried out, put them under the studio lights. I'll show them to you before I reassemble. Okay, we got, we're got we back in the studio. We got studio lighting on these things. So we got a little bit better lighting than kind of whatever scattered in the kitchen or around the house kind of thing or standing outside with the varied lighting. But this is the tropical teal. So this is going to be the Valona. And, you know, here's the thing. I, I will get these dried out and reassemble the knives and then I'll do you know then then I'll show the final results but that tropical teal is nice I did that on the Arita Best Tech Arita and it looked this color so that was pretty consistent and this started with a tan as well and so did the Aritas that I did so I like that color that's that's a nice that's a nice uh green for the um for the Valona and so <clears throat> this side over here is sapphire and this is royal so kind of weird let me get okay so let's take a comparison here like this is sapphire and this is the imperium so that was kind of a real true natural g10 um on the other side there were a couple of true natural g10s this uh, was the TS-27, okay? So what do you think? I mean, really? Is it six of one, half a dozen the other? I mean, this isn't dried out yet either, so it's hard to judge for sure. This shows more grain in it than this. And then here's the Mylea, also in royal. And that's like a whole different color, isn't it? That's just a real shocking blue in a way. And this doesn't look like the same shade, does it? Really. Uh, very odd. Of course, you know, just different textures and that kind of thing. Of course, this is a lot thinner material. This is thicker. And there's the backside of this, which it's consistent. I mean, not bad, okay? So these, this is royal, this is royal, but this is sapphire, okay? And this was royal too, but this started out as kind of a grayish color, remember? And so now it's more of a just a solid blue. This is probably a better indicator of this looks to me more like royal blue and this is more sapphire. The sapphire is kind of a more you know, blue, blue, and the Royals a little bit more sedate, okay, but I'm hung up on something here, okay, hold on, and then these were the scales for the Amber K by Max Ace, which this, these natural G10 scales were a little bit different too in kind of their, their color tone, but I mean, look at the back, real consistent color there, um, Huh. But I think that's going to look really nice. I'm surprised it's not more translucent, but it's not. It's it's dense. It's blue. But that'll look nice on that Amber K. And like, here's the Beluga. That shows a little bit of, you know, grain going through there, you know, variants. But that'll be nice for a blue G10 blue guy. I got a blue micarta one, but this will be nice instead of the gray. Okay, so this started as gray. This also started as kind of a gray. And this is the petrified fish as well. 
PFPO2, okay? And this is the PFPO1. So, <clears throat> and then this is the PF Ernie 01, PFE 01, and that was gray as well. But I think that that's nice. And that's sapphire. Okay? So now let's go to the crazy place. This is royal purple, and one of these is the crit. I'll take all these wires off when I get around to reassembling. Until then, I want to kind of keep them together. But this is the crit in natural G10. Ooh, that, I mean, that royal purple is, is a deep kind of purple, isn't it? Now, and then the snap was a Civivi. Does that look consistent? I mean, the snap is a Sencat, but I mean, basically it's Civivi, and this is Civivi. Same material. Looks pretty consistent between both of these, but it's it's a deeper purple. It's not a light purple, but I think you can tell it's purple regardless. And we'll see what it looks like when I put the scales on, but I just wanted to try the purple as well. I, I love the tropical teal. I think that's, that's aces up, and I, I like blue. I think this is gonna be really good on the sandstorm, so. Uh, I'll put them together and we'll know more. Okay, we got them back together. This is our group that we dyed. Most of them, of course, were dyed blue, whether it was royal blue or sapphire blue. So there's sapphire blue. This is royal blue. Check that out. And that came out different than this, which was, of course, this was kind of a grayish scale to begin with so this is royal blue and this is really what i see as royal blue okay the firebird uh ganso knife but uh this myalia is just all different but real thin material and stuff like that and then the other royal blue was this one which is interesting the tucson ts 27 and yeah shows grain and everything but uh so you know what do you think about the difference between royal and sapphire this is sapphire although here's royal on top royal on bottom and sapphire in the middle 10 cents worth of difference these two almost look the same so maybe it really doesn't matter that much you know if you don't have the colors together maybe it really doesn't matter although you know now this is sapphire sapphire royal royal yeah i don't know um i like the way this came out this came out really well the imperium here that's a good looking knife. That that should be one that's like in a keeper budget knife uh, collection. And I don't think I have mine anymore. And I'm thinking I'm going to roll back around and do this to it, you know? So, um, but here's the TS-27. Okay, so then the rest of these, these this is in Sapphire. Okay, and this is the PFE-01. Did they say that? PFE-01 from uh, Petrified Fish, okay? And then this is the snap from Sencat. That's purple. You know, I was kinda hoping I was gonna end up more like that. This is a royal purple. So, mm, yeah, I mean, it's not exactly the look I was looking for. I was looking for more like this. So, uh, a little disappointing on the royal purple. But it's not natural G10 anymore, that's for sure. Uh, all right. And then this is the royal purple also on the crit. So that's what this looks like now as well. And you can tell it's purple through these cut-throughs, but 
other than that, um, you know, that's, that's a little dark. It's a little dark. So I'll keep that in mind next time. I'm, I'm not going to go royal. I think I'm going to go a lighter purple. This is that tropical teal on the Migaron Valona. And that is nice. I like that. That's, that's handsome. That's a good color. Although you might almost call that, what, forest green or something? Or it's a little light. Maybe more John Deere green or something like that. But that's tropical teal. And this is the effect I got when I did the couple of uh, uh, Best Tech knives, the Eridas, on that. I got this effect as well. So uh, that's the color that they ended up at if you start with like a tan color. But you know what? I, I like it. I like it. You know, not everything needed to be blue in this batch. And then, of course, the uh, Petrified Fish PFPO2, which just came out after the Beluga. So this is a good size knife. Okay. Backspacer, all that. And are we missing anything? We already, Yeah, I think we've uh, covered them all. Interesting knives. Um, and very different looking. Oh, well, we didn't talk about the Sandstorm. There's the pride of the bunch as far as I'm concerned because I like the Sandstorm. And I really wanted to see if I could really get a, a good blue on that Natural G10 handle. Um, Natural G10, I like it, but I like this better. So I'm really happy to have... Uh, really happy that it came out like this and this was the sapphire as well and it's it's just a hoss it is an absolute freaking huge hoss take care thank you so much it's been fun and we do we love them knives so you guys stay sharp